Hello, this video is on the binomial distribution, as shown in the syllabus. In a binomial experiment, there are only two possible outcomes, success and failure. For example, when spinning the spinner shown, success might be defined as landing on blue, with a probability of three quarters, and then failure will be not landing on blue, in other words white, with a probability of one quarter. And if x is the number of blues which result from spinning the spinner once, x can have the values zero or one. The probability distribution is shown at the bottom. Now suppose we spin the spinner n times and count the number of times that the outcome is blue. The probability of success getting a blue outcome is the same for each spin and each spin is independent of every other spin. So this is an example of a binomial experiment and if x is the number of blues which result from spinning the spinner n times the number of blues can be anything from 0 to n. A binomial distribution occurs when the following conditions are therefore satisfied. If there are a fixed number of trials, and if the trials are independent of each other, so the probability of success is the same in each trial. And each trial only has two possible outcomes, success or failure. So in a binomial experiment, if the number of trials is notated with n, and the probability of success uh, notated with p, we say that x is binomially distributed with parameters n and p. And we say that x follows a binomial distribution with n trials and a probability of success of p. In our example with the spinner, now suppose we spin it three times and count the number of times that the outcome is blue, and x is the number of successes you know, in those three spins, then x is a binomial random variable, and n, the number of trials, is three, and the probability of success is equal to three quarters. x can take on the values 0, 1, 2, and 3, and we write x follows a binomial distribution with three trials and prob probability of success three quarters. To determine the probability distribution of x, we can draw a tree diagram and then find the probabilities associated with each outcome. And in the tree diagram shown here, you can see the results of the three spins and the eight possible outcomes. You'll notice that the number of outcomes have been shaded according to uh, the value of x. In the top branch, x is equal to 3, that's the blue result here, because that's a blue outcome three times. The red results shown here, uh, x is equal to 2, because that was two blue outcomes. The yellow results, that's x is equal to 1, because that was one blue outcome on the spinner. And the green at the bottom, that's x equal to 0, because there are no blue outcomes on the spinner. And the associated probabilities are shown also. So the probability that x is 0, the bottom branch, the green shaded one, is equal to 1 quarter q, that's 164. The probability that x is equal to 1 was the sum of those three uh, shaded yellow branches. Probability that x is equal to 2, showing two blue outcomes, those were the three red results, and the probability that x is equal to 3, the top one, uh, that was the one blue result shown at the bottom here. And if you work out those probabilities, you'll get 1 64th for x is equal to 0, 9 sixty-fourths for x is equal to 1, 27 sixty-fourths for x is equal to 2, and 3. 
and also showing the results in the bar chart to the right here. However, in this course, you're expected to calculate binomial probabilities using your calculator. And I'll just show you how to do that. So from menu, if we choose option two for statistics, that's F5 for a distribution, followed by F5 again for a binomial distribution, followed by F1 for a probability calculation. And then if we set the data to variable. And then if we scroll down and set the number of trials, in this case that was three spins of the spinner and the probability of success that was um, three quarters or 0.75. And then if we scroll up and set the number of successes. So if we start with zero successes, that went to a zero. And if we press execute again, the probability will be displayed. If you check on your calculator, that's equal to 164. Then if we press exit, we can change the number of successes to x equals one and repeat the process. Page of that and press execute again. And we'll get the next probability and you can confirm that that's equal to 964. And we can repeat it again, press exit, set the number of successes to two, press execute and execute again, we'll get the next probability. And you can confirm that that's equal to 2764s, which is also the same probability for x equals three. In part A of this question, we're asked to find the probability that the archer hits exactly three bullseyes. So if we start by defining a variable, we'll let x be the number of bullseyes. As each attempt is independent of the previous one, and since he either achieves or doesn't achieve a bullseye, x is a binomial random variable, and n is equal to 10, and p is equal to 0 0.3, as shown in the question. So we should write the distribution mathematically as shown. So to find the required probability, we set the number of successes equal to three. Scroll up, so x equals to three, and press enter, and enter again, and the probability will be displayed. To find the probability that the archer hits at least three bullseyes, we could find the probability that x is equal to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and add them all up. Or we can remember our complement rule. And we can find the required probability by subtracting the probability that x is less than or equal to two from one whole. Now your calculator can also calculate cumulative probabilities for the binomial distribution. And I'll just show you how to do that now. So if we press exit twice, we'll get back to this menu here, press again F5 for a distribution, F5 again for a binomial distribution, but this time select F2 for a cumulative calculation. Now on your calculator, you'll just set x is equal to two. On my more recent version, I set the lower value of zero successes and the upper value of two successes. Press enter and enter again, and we'll get the required probability. As I say, on your calculator, you just set x is equal to two, and it will work out the accumulation up to x equals two for you. So again, the probability of 
hitting uh, at least three bullseyes is found by subtracting this value from one. And the answer is 0 0.617. In part A of this question, we're asked to find the probability of getting two correct answers. So assuming that all the guesses are equally likely and made independently of each other, x can be modelled by a binomial distribution. With six trials for the six questions and a probability of success of one quarter because there was four equally likely options. So you should state n and p and also state the distribution of x, as shown here. So to find the probability that x equals 2, we're going to choose binomial probability and set x is equal to 2. So first press to exit <coughs> and exit again, go into distributions f5, f5 binomial and f1 for a binomial probability calculation. So we want to set the number of successes, we said to 2, so we'll enter that. Number of trials is 6, and the probability of success is 1 quarter, so 0.25. We press execute, and we will get the required probability. To find the probability that x is less than or equal to 2, we need to choose BCD, a binomial cumulative probability calculation, and again, set x equal to 2. Let's exit, exit again, distributions, binomial, cumulative this time, and set x equal to 2, or in my case, upper to 2, and enter that. And that value, of course, is the sum of those three independent probabilities, or individual probabilities. And that result is 0 0.831. In part C, we're asked to find the probability that x is between 3 and 6, but not including 6. Uh, and that will be the values x equals 3, 4, and 5. So we can either find the individual values of x equals 3, 4, and 5, and add them together, or we can subtract the probability that x is less than or equal to 2, from x is less than or equal to 5. So if we repeat our calculation here, but set the upper or x equal to 5 in your case, and look at that probability, and then subtract the two values. And the answer is 0 0.169.